Hello everyone, welcome to Genius Tutorials once again and uh, in this session of PGTBA we are going to discuss few questions based on coordinate geometry and trigonometry. Okay, so let's start with our very first question and in this it is given that two consecutive sides of parallelogram are 4x plus 5y and 7x plus 2y. So what we can do here, suppose this is a parallelogram ABCD and its two sides are 7x plus 2y equal to 0 and 4x plus 5y equal to 0. Now if I solve these two equations we will get a point of intersection as 0 0. So we can say that coordinates of A will be 0 0. Now in this parallelogram we have two diagonals this BD and AC and one thing is very sure that this diagonal does not pass it through origin okay so that means uh, this diagonal will be bd okay the equation of bd will be 11x plus 7y equal to 9 now if i solve this bd and ad we will get coordinates of d as minus 2 by 3 7 by 3 and coordinates of b as 5 by 3 and minus 4 by 3. Now uh, D, A and B coordinates are known to us. So we can easily find out value of C. We know that diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. That means midpoint of uh, B, D, let us say O. Okay. So its midpoint will be What is the midpoint? It will be minus 2 by 3 plus 5 by 3 divided by 2. That means 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. This will be equal to, let us say, coordinates are alpha, beta. Okay. So, also you need not to find out value of alpha, beta. Since coordinates of O are known to us and coordinates of A are 0, 0. You can easily find out value of this equation. OA equation can be easily find. C should be correct answer to this question. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so in this question, we uh, need to calculate the number of integral values of K for which this equation has a solution. Okay. Now, we can rewrite this equation as this 3 cos x plus 4 sin x. This is equal to 2k plus 1. So what we can do? Uh, you just divide both sides by under root of 3 square plus 4 square. Okay. So what would be the benefit of this? Now if I divide by 3 square plus 4 square, this equation will be like 3 by 5 cos x plus 4 by 5 sin x and this is equal to 2k plus 1 by 5. That means this is nothing but we can say this is cos of x minus alpha. This is equal to 2k plus 1 by 5. Okay. And here we have used cos alpha as say 3 by 5 and sin alpha is 4 by 5. Now we know that cos x minus alpha, this lies between minus 1 and 1. That means 2k plus 1 divided by 5, it lies between minus 1 and 1. So from here we can say that uh, 2k will lie between minus 6 and 4. Okay. So that means integral values possible here are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So that means 6 integral values are possible. So B should be correct answer to this question. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. In this question, uh, we have to find the centers of those circles which touch 
this circle and also touch the x axis lie on ok so basically we need to calculate uh, the locus of this equation no? so that means one circle is given to us suppose this is the circle and uh, this equation we can rewrite this equation as x minus 4 square plus y minus 4 square is equal to 6 square okay that means this is a circle with center 4 4 and radius 6 we can say this radius will be 6 okay and uh, center is 4 4 suppose this is okay so we need to calculate equation of circle this is circle which touches this circle externally and also touches x axis okay okay so we can say that if this is 6 you just consider a line exactly at distance of 6 units from here. Okay. So one thing is sure that if this is center C, this will be, let us say radius is R. So we can say C and C dash. The C, C dash will be r plus 6 and what will be this distance if this is r this is 6 let us say this is m this cm will be r plus 6 again if i say uh, let us say uh, for any point okay any circle this condition will be satisfied that c c dash this should be equal to cm and this is equal to r plus 6 so this is required condition for can you tell me this is the required condition for parabola okay in case of parabola now you know that that this is directrix and this is focus and this is the moving point so this distance and this distance should be equal so this condition is of parabola and d is correct answer to this question let's start the next question in this question it is given that in a triangle ABC, A plus B minus C. Okay. So, we can rewrite this as B plus C whole square minus A square. This is equal to lambda BC. If I open this formula, it will be B square plus C square plus 2 BC. And let us bring that to bc here it will be lambda minus 2 into bc or we can say b square plus c square minus a square upon bc bc this is equal to lambda minus 2 2 say multiply color denominator now this is uh, nothing but cos a cos a is equal to lambda minus 2 by 2 and again we know that cos a lies between minus 1 and 1 that means lambda minus 2 by 2 this will lie between minus 1 and 1 so lambda minus 2 will lie between minus 2 and 2 that means lambda will lie between i add 0 both both sides it will be 0 and 4. So lambda will lie between 0 and 4. Both are included. So B should be correct answer to this question. Okay. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the session and we will come up with more such sessions. So do subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet. And uh, for any queries you can WhatsApp me at 98965 a triple one four this is my whatsapp number to join our courses for pgdba you can whatsapp me on this number okay thank you so much